Today we're going to do some gin preparation with our new steel. Is the infuser or gin basket? Here we've got some junipers and uh, some peels, orange peels. Simple, simple recipe again. Just gonna try it. Here we can see some production. Now gin is coming out. Is a whole setup. Is a gin basket. Is a column. Just asked my cat permission to use his toys, so he gave me his stand. My cat just entirely understands what I'm doing, so no problems. Anyway, it's a gin, and here you can see some water consumption, not much. So we loaded all the peels and everything and uh, orange peel and uh, what I would recommend, I would recommend to place orange peel on the bottom and crushed juniper berries on top. So in this case uh, I believe you're gonna get more flavor rather than mix it all together because uh, condensed water and uh, everything that condensed coming back to to the boiler uh, and uh, very light vapor with the enriched with all those essential oils is coming up so if you would like to have it more, more like a juniper real gin taste and flavor it's better to place them on top so in this case uh, all the essential oils from the junipers will reach the top of the tower And again, for gin distillation, I don't use mesh. I use already purified ethanol, alcohol, clean alcohol mixed with water. So there's no tails, no heads. Everything is good. Good for taking. You can take everything from beginning to the end without worrying, no impurities. All goodies are in here. Other people who just trying to make it out of mesh they have to take heads off and the most uh, volatile essential oils that actually gonna give you the most richest taste and flavor for for your drink is actually they in the heads and they throw them away in this case there is no heads so we collect everything 